I thought of this collection kind of as a collage because it's made up of lots of different types of writing. It's got lyric fragments of Im- sort of image based fragments, prose pieces, some of them are stories and some of them are more like dialogue and these different fragments interconnect with each other. And one of the ways which I was thinking about this was as a kind of a shrine. Um, And the kind of metaphor of the shrine is important to the collection because it's about the idea of gathering objects together, different types, diverse objects, objects, words, images, which are important to somebody. Um, And um, part of what I was interested in doing was trying to find and document these kinds of compositions um, in a very uh, compassionate, joyful and celebratory way, which kind of celebrates creativity. Um, so these kinds of constructions that I'm talking about could be the actual religious shrines which are in Austria, in, in the countryside, um, but also might be something more surprising like a frog puppet made by a school student made out of bits of scraps of socks and things like that, or um, maybe a makeshift grave for some goats that had died. Um, so my idea of the shrine is quite uh, hopefully humorous and colourful and a bit kitsch as well as spiritual. And I began this book while living in Austria. And when I uh, was there, I became more and more immersed and um, in, in the culture um, and the landscape around me. And that kind of helped me feel a greater connection to the story of my grandmother, who was Austrian. Uh, her name was Crystal and she moved to the UK when she was very young, um, after the Second World War. So in the second half of the collection, her voice becomes part of the text and it becomes quite an important part part of it, a kind of it becomes a dialogue with the other voices which are in the book. And I was really interested in seeing what kind of resonances could come out of that dialogue. And in the end I think it started to be a bit about the things to do with disorientation and displacement um, and things to do with Europe and the UK and also um, the past and present times and sort of those things started to speak to each other.